Nigeria currently ranks at number 93 out of 117 in the World Global Food Index, a disappointing score for a largely agrarian society. Agriculture alone accounts for over 40% of the employment in Nigeria. It's a sector in dire need of government support, considering it used to account for more than 70% of the country's GDP at independence. Now it contributes just over 20%. The Buhari administration in March of 2018 set up the National Food Security Council specifically to ensure food security in the country. The president believes the council is delivering on its mandate. In the last five years, we have recorded notable achievements despite the decline in GDP by 6.1% in the second quarter of 2020. As a direct result of coronavirus, the agricultural sector continued to grow because of government's targeted agricultural policies. We have been blessed by God with six successive rainy seasons, ensuring good harvest since 2015. The nation thanks our farmers for rising to the occasion and answering a national call. The council is also taking credit for the reduction in the cost of food over the months and wants Nigerians to expect high output this harvest season. Its deputy chairman, the governor of Kebi State, Atiku Bagudu, says the country has achieved self-sufficiency in many crops. Harvest has commenced in some parts of the country in, some, in respect of some crops. And because of that, the prices have begun to respond to harvest by coming down by beginning to come down. Maize was never on the importation ban list. What CBN did in order to support domestic maize production was to restrict the sale of foreign exchange for uh, maize importation. And, uh, but it's not, maize is not a banned commodity yet. President Buhari has instructed the central bank not to issue a cover of the country's reserves for the importation of food items and fertilizer. He insists that the focus should be on empowering local producers and farmers. That way, the government will ensure food security while fixing the unemployment rate. From the State House in Abuja, Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.